Hey everyone, welcome back to the Adventure Channel. So I just wanted to give you guys an update about the Hasair evaporative cooler unit. And I definitely want to say I still love this thing. It's working perfectly and stuff. Um, it's been about a year now since we actually got this. Uh, right now, I don't remember the price off the top of my head. So make sure you check out my previous videos. And I do have another one, uh, another model uh, right behind me. So um, again, this is the five gallon unit. We've had this now for about a year in Joe and I, and this thing works pretty good. It uh, has four different modes. It has the fan mode with water, then it has a floor mode with water, then it has the two fans, and then it's just the water unit, which I just honestly don't understand why they would have that there. And so some of you have asked, would this work in humid air? And then, of course, uh, I've even messaged family members. They say, yeah, they don't want to get one of these because of the humidity. Now, the only way you get humidity with this in your house is if you seal up all the doors, seal up all the windows, and it's trying to plan on using this as a air conditioning unit. That's when you're gonna get some really humid air in the house. However, um, as you guys can see right now, it's 82 up here. What I do is I turn this on in conjunction with my air conditioning unit. So if you do have your air conditioning on and running this at the same time, it will keep your house a lot cooler and also cool it off a lot faster as opposed to just using this by itself. Now, if you are using this just as a standalone, you don't have a swamp cooler, you don't have an air conditioning unit, whatever, make sure you have your windows open or you have this narrow window because it will get humid in the hide and it'll start feeling a little icky. But it works really great because sometimes I come home um, it's about maybe 90 degrees in the house uh, or, or so, but this works really great with the air conditioning. Open up your windows because the air is always cooler on the outside than it is uh, with the still air in the house. And so my dog loves it. Uh, little Prince, he's always sitting in front of it every time we have this on late at night. The only thing I don't like about the unit is that there's no automatic cutoff. Um, Hasir, if you guys are watching this review, Please, because what happens is we like to keep this on, you know, late at night, right before we go to bed or sometimes when we're sleeping. And uh, there's no way I wish there was an automatic way to switch this from water to just a fan after the water has uh, evaporated from the unit or once it, you know, it, get, it reaches a certain water level. That would be pretty cool because after a while it starts to sound like an aquarium. And then, of course, you know, when you're sleeping in the middle of the night, obviously you're not going to get up to adjust it from one setting to the next. You just want to use it as a fan. So I wish that was a setting that was added in here is to just have it on the evaporative cooler mode. And then once the water level reaches a certain length, it switches over to fan automatically. That would be really cool with this thing. Um, but uh, this particular unit, some of you guys have asked questions. Again, this is meant for 500 square feet. So, but keep in mind, um, I have a big house. And so I use this in conjunction with just trying to knock the heat out of the house. And the electric bill isn't too high when running this all night, just using it as a fan. It's a lot better than using your air conditioning unit, trying to cool off the whole house. So uh, that's some of the recommendations that I do have for you. Now, a gentleman, I think he was in Minnesota, some other place where it gets really, really humid. You asked me the question in terms of how will this work in really humid air? It should work a little bit better because remember, if you're sitting right in front of it, it's putting out cooler air, even if you're in humid, uh, humid air conditions. Uh, my science isn't all that great, but I do believe if you are in the humid air, because even if I have this unit on and it gets started getting humid in here and I don't have any windows open, uh, you still feel the cool air. And I do know like if you're in Atlanta, Georgia, uh, back east, Midwest and stuff like that, where it gets really humid, then yeah, if you're sitting directly in front of it, then yeah, it will blow in cool air, but the air around you will still be humid. So it will still be a huge benefit for you. But uh, for those of you who have a bigger house, I would definitely recommend getting the bigger unit. And I have it on right now. I know you can't really tell because I'm using an iPhone 11 to record and sometimes sound doesn't pick up as, you know, as good uh, in person as it is recording. So that's the high speed on here. This is really good for a living room or anything. And then of course, right now, I'm just gonna turn it down. This is on the fan with the evaporative cooler. Then there's the water level. Now we have the fan in slow mode. And there's the fan just by itself. 
then there's the water. I have honestly no idea what that's for. Um, I didn't read the manual on that, but I figured, well, what's the point of even having that? But again, uh, the unit works really great. I fill it up maybe three times a day. Based, you know, if I'm at home all day working or, uh, depend, you know, it actually kind of depends on how the, you know, the weather is in the house and how hot it is. But usually about three times a day, I always have a couple of gallons of water laying around, fill it up, you know, with some cups. You know, but it's all good but we're happy with it the pump and everything still works this works great outdoors if you guys are having barbecues so yeah like and subscribe make sure you guys pick up one of these at home depot or one of your neighborhood stores uh, these work really great no complaints whatsoever and they're really lightweight once there's no water in here i mean obviously if you start adding water to it this one has about five gallons it does pick up a little weight but uh no it's really easy anybody can pick it up uh once there's no water in there but I hope you guys enjoyed this quick update. Wanted to give you guys an update about this. Uh, still going strong. Um, I don't remember the warranty policy on it. Uh, we obviously didn't don't use this during the winter. We only use it for uh, the summer. But if you have parties, uh, if you have an air conditioning unit, this works great in conjunction with it. You will not get humid, uh, humidity in your house if you have the air conditioning on. If you have the windows open or a sliding glass door open in the vicinity. So you guys all have a great day. Hope you enjoyed this quick update. Catch you later. Peace. All right, so this is the bigger Hesera model. We keep it downstairs. Um, again, I think the size of this house is about 1,800, maybe 2,000 square feet. Uh, this particular unit has water there on the side, a little mess there in the back. Uh, this particular unit covers about uh, up to about 1,300 square feet. I don't think I turned it on in the last video because I told you guys it was loud, and really there's no way for you to... Uh, get a better understanding or really picture how loud it is because you're not here but um it does really well um again we leave it downstairs make sure we have a window open or have the air conditioning on when we run this but primarily i make sure i at least have the windows open or a sliding glass door open uh so that way it doesn't get humid in the house but uh even if you are a business owner i highly recommend this unit again just wanted to give you guys an update on this particular model uh this one is the 10 gallon model i don't remember the specific model number off the top of my head again you guys can check out the previous video for that but if you guys are church members if you guys attend church if you have a retail store um like a little uh, wardrobe shop, clothing store, something like that. All of this will work really great because even though it may not cover a full 1300 square feet, just having cool air blow straight into your store, then this will be a perfect fit for you. Um, it's really lightweight. I mean, you could pick it up with just a couple hands, really easy. But if you obviously add extra water, it's going to be a little heavier. Uh, the only thing I don't like about this, again, um, if you want to leave this on all night, it doesn't have an automatic switch where it switches, uh, turns the water off, goes straight from fan and with the water. Uh, but this one allows you to sweep left and right. Uh, the only issue I have with this, here, I'll see if you guys can see it. You guys see those things there? They're moving left and right. Now uh, it is straight. Now uh, it's going to the left. So the only thing I don't like about this unit with the uh, things moving left and right is there's really no way to know where it's facing unless you're looking at it or feeling the wind blowing right at you. So uh, usually I have to wait to feel the wind blowing right at me because you know, as you see, it's moving left to right, but you really have no way of centering it. Just say, hey, I want it to either to left or right. There's no degree in which you can really turn it. I mean, it's just automated. So as you guys see, it is on right now and it's doing its thing. But uh, it's working right, uh, really great. Again, you can use this one outdoors. Um, 
I usually fill this up, takes up a few bottles, but this goes by really quickly. If it's really hot in your house and you have water in here, it's just going to suck up the water really fast, probably in an hour and a half, maybe two hours, probably a little bit less than that. But um, what I do is because this is downstairs, I just roll it by my sliding glass door and just stick the water hose in here and then just fill it all up with water. But I will admit, on the previous unit, uh, actually on the other unit, it's a lot easier to put water in there. I actually get spillage more with this because it has the ridges here. And um, one thing I definitely think I want to try is putting ice cubes in here. I haven't tried it with either one of them uh, to see how cool it will get. I think I tried a little bit, put a few ice cubes in there thinking it might help. But I'll actually fill this thing up with uh, ice cubes when I get a chance just to see what type of results I get if the air is really cool. And I mean, that should be really fun. But all in all, everything is working great. I know a lot of you guys have complained to say that the pumps on some of these have gone out. Don't know what the issue may have been. I'm not sure of the warranty policies. But yeah, you get all the rollers. Everything comes with it. But after a year, it's still working great. And there's no issues or concerns. And just a few minor things. Uh, I just wish that if you're planning on using this overnight, there's an automatic switch to where uh, if it runs out of water, it automatically switches the pump off and then just runs the fan automatically. So, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed these videos. I just wanted to give you guys a quick update, let you guys know what I think about this. Let's go ahead and straighten that out. Let's see, yeah, hopefully it's straight. Let me turn it on. All right, it's going straight at me. But um, again, our dog loves it. I mean, when I turn this thing on, he's typically laying in front of it all day and uh, works good. Good for parties. You can see it's really durable. Use it outside. Um, just make sure you guys clean it off because I can tell you after a year, I have noticed uh, maybe not on this unit so much, but there was some dog hair buildup. Oh, as you can see, yeah, there's a little bit of dog hair, but it does kind of pick up everything. Just, you know, use a napkin or a, to a towel to kind of rinse it off uh, a little bit. And uh, yeah, it should be good, for, you know, good for fine. But this works really great. I mean, it's really easy to roll around even when you have water in here. Um, the only other recommendation I can give you guys is do not fill it up past this line because I've noticed, particularly in this model, when you put a lot of water in here and maybe fill it up to this line, uh, this will kind of pop open a little bit just along this ridge line. Um, I have to watch myself when I put water in here with the water hose because even though it's like filled, it's like there's, you know, you still have that bit of space there you could you think you could put water in here and you can but just keep in mind that this starts to protrude out a little bit when you uh you do that and so this is where all the water is stored down here but again yeah i'm gonna try some put some ice cubes in here see if we can get things a lot cooler but uh yeah it typically gets about 90 degrees in here if i don't have the air on and we go out you know if it's really hot outdoors you know a couple weeks ago i think it was what 106 or something and Helps cool down the house, you know, even with the air conditioning on. Keeps, you know, all the air uh, moving throughout the house. So, um, no complaints. I absolutely love it. But I'm really glad they gave us a good deal at Home Depot. Those guys were really nice when I got this particular unit. Because they were out of the other one. I really didn't need it, but they hooked us up. But I hope you guys love it, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Bye-bye. Have a good day.